Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm going to try out the hero who recently got a revamp in official server. And this one's Minsitar. Now, I don't know about the hype, but ever since Minsitar got his revamp, it seems like the players immediately put him in the ban section. I mean, if we look at his ban rate, he's the top 4 most banned hero in all ranks. The top 3 most banned for the mythics. And again, the top 4 most banned for the MGs and above. So I guess that's a lot of bans. But what the heck? So that's why in this video, I want to find out if this guy really deserves to be banned that much. Is Minsitar really bad news when he's picked? Or did banning him just become the norm? And that's what we're going to find out. Anyway, I'm currently playing solo ranked here in official server and it'll be our team's experience laner. Now, as for my build, I didn't go for attack speed type which is a common build for Minsitar. Instead, this is the one that I've used which is a hybrid burst type build. With this, I can have enough damage to burst down squishy enemies and enough defense to sustain damage in team fights. Then here's my emblem and the battle spell that I've used. Now, before we go on, let me just help secure the turtle. That was some team fight for the objective, but I guess we're not done yet. We successfully secured the turtle and killed one of them. We got the advantage with that one. Now if you'll notice, I've built Dreadnought Armor first, then the boots, before I go on building my first offensive item. The reason I did this is because of the enemy I got in the experience lane. Yin is a skill-dependent hero and Dreadnought Armor has a passive that can minimize the enemy's damage when they use their skills. So it's a great counter for him at early game. And here's how it's effective. Another one, huh? I shall always stand my ground. Killing spree. Nice try, Chang Huh. But I think there's another one. I guess I won't have enough mana for another team fight. Moving on, before he got his revamp, Minsitar was one of the least picked heroes in the game. And in the few times he's picked, people usually use him as a tank or a roam. Now that this guy got his revamp, the developers allowed him to be used in the experience lane, which is where we used him now. And speaking of revamp, this means Minsitar also got a new set of skills. And let's start talking about his passive. Each hit from Minsitar's skills and basic attack applies a mark on the enemy. After reaching 5 stacks, the next hit will detonate the mark, stunning the enemy and dealing physical damage based on Minsi's max HP. After the detonation, the skill will undergo a 6 second cooldown before applying his passive's mark again. Next is his first skill. It still works the same way as before, especially the hook part, but it's given a lot of additional effects. First, the enemies at the tip of the spear are now stunned. Second, it can now hook multiple heroes. And I mean multiple heroes. You can also do it with a flicker to hook the enemies farther. Next is his second skill. It now has a toggle skill. Once you activate it, Minsitar trusts the enemies in a rectangular area, then changes his stance. While in this stance, any damage coming from the front are reduced. And you can click the attack button to keep trusting the enemies inside the rectangle. Last is his ultimate. It still works almost the same as before. 
The only difference now is that the additional defense means he targets when he's inside his ultimate is removed. But the enemies caught in it are now more restricted in using their mobility skills. And that's it. That's basically all of Minstar's skill changes in this revamp. But before we move on, I think a team fight is about to occur. In my opinion, I think Minsitar is similarly played as Kadita's playstyle. It is where you try to burst down an important figure in the enemy team's lineup, such as the Assassin, Marksman, or Mage. If you're able to burst down one or two of those enemies with no casualties on your side, then you'd already done a great job for your team. Anyhow, it seems the enemies are snacking up on my squishy teammates. Let's see if I can minimize their numbers. The enemies are currently taking the Lord. I guess we have no chance on contesting for it. Now they're making a ruckus on our bottom lane. Let's see if we can defend it. Tougher the challenge, the sharper my spear. I managed to kill two of them. I think Moscow's on his way to the Lord. I'll push our bottom lane instead. Shoot, I almost died there. Time to retreat. So it's almost 12 minutes and we're in lead by 7 kills. Though we're ahead of the enemies by a few scores, the number of our tower pushes are equal. So I guess the enemies are putting up quite a fight against us. But then again, here's another team fight. And I died. So the enemies manage to get the Lord and they're being aggressive to my teammates. Shoot, I think it's down to me and Ling for defending 3 against 2. Let's see what we can do. Good riddance, I guess we managed to defend it. The 
king shall reign with righteousness. <laughs> Dang, the team fights are getting more and more frequent, huh? Anyway, so far, I think Min Sitar can now be a good fighter in experience lane. Though I wouldn't say that he's the ideal pick when you need a fighter. I think he's more of a situational pick, especially if you're up against high mobility heroes. And as for his ban rate, well for me, I wouldn't say that Min Sitar is that hard to deal with. I mean, if we're going to look at my score, I'd say it's mostly because of good calls and great support from my teammates. But regarding Min Si as an OP hero, I think he's not. So I think he doesn't deserve being banned this much. But that's just me. Anyway, the enemy just got the Lord and I smell another team fight brewing. So the level 3 Lord respawned and I think it's time to properly contest for it. I'll take care of their troublesome marksman. I'll help them secure the Lord by keeping their jungler away. That she'll do it. So I guess this is it. So what can you say about Min Sitar? Does he deserve to be banned or not? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.